Welcome to the meat shop. Thanks for clicking on. My name is Duncan Henry and in this episode I'm going to share with you a pork jerky recipe. A pineapple pork jerky recipe. It's really popular, a little bit sweet, a little bit spicy and I think you're really going to like it. So without any further ado, let's make some pineapple pork jerky. All right, so this little intro is going to be shared in three different videos because I'm going to use this pork loin to make three different kinds of jerky. I'm going to make candied pork, Memphis pork bites, and pineapple pork jerky, all out of this loin. This loin was $39. It's a great muscle for making jerky. And at the end of this, we're going to show you how much pork jerky we get from each video. The total amount of jerky, we're going to give you the steps for each individually after this. Pork loins make a great muscle for jerky because like I said, they're lean muscles. You have a rib end, which has a little bit more marbling, a little bit darker meat. And sometimes, in this case, they leave the sirloin attached, which is also nice lean meat for making jerky. They're relatively affordable. This whole loin I picked up from a wholesale store, so not my meat wholesalers that uh, do volume, but I just walked into the wholesale store, wasn't particularly looking for a sale, just went in and grabbed one, and uh, they're basically $3 a pound. Pretty affordable. This whole loin was $39, and we're going to get quite a bit of jerky out of it. So, there we go. The perk of the pork loin too is also it's very easy to trim. All you have to do is take this fat off of the backside and there is a little bit of a, a chain muscle that runs down either side that has a little bit of silver skin that you want to remove if you're making pork jerky. Other than that, it's very simple. So I'm gonna split this into three pieces for three different types of jerky. All right, we have the wonderful rib end portion of the pork loin here to work with. Um, with jerky, you want to usually slice, how we make the majority of all of our jerky, is we slice with the grain. However, on the rib portion, as you can see here, there's a couple different veins. And by the time you separate them all out, they do get pretty small. So you can cut against the grain. It's gonna make a bit more of a tender jerky. And I think that's what I'm gonna do in this case. I do have other jerky videos on the channel if you wanna check out what with the grain jerky is, but this pork loin, I'm going to cut against the grain. Before we do that though, we still want to lean up as much silver skin and whatnot as we can see off of this. So this fat cap's going to come off, a little bit of silver skin from underneath. So I'll just do that quick now, but the correct way to do that is to get just underneath and take just the fat off or just the silver skin off. You don't want to be cutting into that precious lean meat that is going to become our jerky. All right, so we have it leaned up as much as we can on the outside here. There's the back side. There is going to be a little bit of fat between each muscle, but pork is pretty tender. The fat is pretty creamy, and so it's not going to be too bad. It is going to be a little bit chewy where those muscles, the seams between the muscles are on the final product, but that's okay. Now I'm just going to go from one end going across the grain. You can see the grain here. Uh, runs this way on this muscle. So when you cut this way, you're cutting against the grain. And I'm just going to do a quarter inch slices all the way down the remainder of the loin. Using the scimitar in nice big strokes is the best way to get as uh, consistent slices. You can see there, you know, it's got a little bit of fat in, in between each muscle, but if you were to try and separate that out, you'd wind up with pretty small muscles. It's going to be a little bit chewy kind of in this area here, but that's okay. Not the end of the world. The main muscle piece is going to be quite tender. This here is going to be tender and the, the cap is going to be tender, but you can see what I mean as you get into the rib, it's got different muscles. Versus normally on jerky, you isolate each muscle and cut them into quarter inch pieces. If you are concerned about them being a little bit chewy and you're using this rib end, you can cut them even smaller. You cut them an eighth of an inch or something like that. Put the uh, loin in the freezer for a bit, get it a little bit frosty. Uh, I find it's a little bit easier to cut thinner pieces when the muscle is a bit frosty. Or if you have a slicer, like the one behind me there, you can put it on the slicer and get very consistent sizes. Okay, here's our sliced up chunks of pork ribeye, I guess. Grab a weight off of them, and then we'll get the recipe mixed up. This is our waste. See you later. You could save it for sausage. Just the nice back fat portion of it. But what do we got here? All right, 1.5 kilograms of pineapple pork jerky spice coming up. All right, spices mixed. Pineapples right here, ready to go. 
What spices did I mix up? You're maybe wondering. Well, the, I mixed up salt at 15 grams per kilogram, chili flakes at three grams per kilogram, brown sugar at 30 grams per kilogram, California ham spice at one gram per kilogram, garlic powder, one gram per kilogram, cure number one, three grams per kilogram, sodium erythrobate, 1.5 grams per kilogram, and crushed pineapples are going in at 200 grams per kilogram. This is, so half this. And when you're picking out the pineapples, I like using the crushed pineapples because some um, inevitably make it into the mix. And then these crushed ones, once they're dried, they're actually pretty sweet and yummy on the, on the pork. So as always, you guys have probably seen this. If you've seen this, just go ahead and skip ahead a little bit, but you put the spices on and mix as thoroughly as possible. So there's as much contact as possible. Look at this, look how good this looks before I mix. Doesn't that spice mixture on there look good? Looking forward to eating. This is the best part, when the spices meet the meat. Okay, you wanna get juices and all out of your pineapples, crushed pineapples. And I'm just gonna eyeball half this can, because if you have a little bit too much pineapple, I don't think that's the end of the world. Hmm. There we go, about half that can. And, a mix. Okay, we have sufficiently mixed it up. It smells like a tropical pork kebab or something like that. Mm. Can't wait to get this dehydrating slash smoking tomorrow. 24 hours. Voila, marinated pineapple pork jerky. We're gonna do this one in the dehydrator. If you wanna smoke it, you can. It just adds another layer of flavor, a little different. This one's kinda just gonna be sweet and hot. Sweet, hot, and chewy. Give it one last little stir up. Take a bit of Pam, spray your sheets so they come off easily. I already kind of sprayed these because I got some other stuff in the dehydrator. Candied pork, if you haven't seen the episode and you're interested, it's on the channel. Then we just take these and you spread them out flat so there's no folds in it because you want the entire surface to dry. And also you don't want them touching. You want a little bit of space between each piece so that each piece gets uh, the air circulating onto it and it dries out evenly. And I'm being pretty generous because I know I'm going to have lots of space in my dehydrator, but that's lots of space between each piece. So I'm going to fill up all the racks just like this, load them up into the dehydrator, and then drool in front of the glass door until everything is ready. Okay, without boring you to death, I have racked them all. We got the pineapple pork jerky loaded in there. As you can see, a little pro tip for you, just throw a little tin foil down at the bottom, makes your cleanup way quicker, get a little more life out of your dehydrator. But now we're gonna fire it on at 155 for about six hours, come in and check on it. You want them all nice and dry. And uh, so these ones here are the pineapple pork jerky. And what's these ones then, Dunk? Well, those are the candied pork bites. If you haven't seen that episode, go ahead and give it a click. But, all right, talk to you later, pineapple pork jerky. And again, I gotta brag about this little thing. I really like this dehydrator. I think it's really good value. It's like 300 bucks. I think I have uh, just about eight pounds of meat in there and I could still get another four racks and I've really spaced them out really wide. The controls are dead simple. On. Time. Whoops, that's too much time. We're gonna go five hours at 65 Celsius. Boom. See you in five hours. All right, I think it's time to pull out the pineapple pork. Just had a look at it. Ooh, ah, oh, looks good. There you go. You can just about see through it. It's probably going to be a little bit much fat. It's going to be a little chewy, but kind of breaks. Or, sorry, kind of crunchy but doesn't break that's perfect so we'll take those pineapple pork ones out and you know what you've been waiting so long you should treat yourself have a little bite when it's warm it's almost better when it's warm um, oh yeah all right no more though get this out pop it in the cooler then taste test it when it's done all right time to taste test our rib end pineapple pork jerky chunks first though what i want to do is get a weight see how much we got i want to say the batch was kind of i did have a little snack off it yesterday 
The batch was pretty close to, uh, I think everything was just under two kilograms yesterday. Or how, two days ago, I guess. Okay. So we got 755 grams, plus probably had about 100 grams yesterday. So we'll call it, we'll just call it 800, be a little conservative. 800 grams of pineapple pork jerky off the rib end of the pork loin. I'm gonna write that down. Okay, time to dive in. Now, lots of people aren't gonna like those kind of little bit of fattier chunks. And that's fair, I'm kind of the odd one out. I do kind of like them a little bit, but this is the chunk you guys are probably gonna like the most, that pork chop loin piece. Should be a little bit more tender since it's cut against the grain than with the grain like normal jerky is, but. Mm. Different texture because of the across the grain. I like my jerky with the grain. But it's easier to chew. Crumbles right apart. Still tastes awesome. Sweet from the pineapple and brilliant sugar. A little bit of heat. Garlic for flavor. Dehydrated, just the perfect amount. Mmm. So good. And so that little fattier chunk, have a little piece of fat. Mmm. I like that fat. Dehydrated fat is good. Anyways, guys, just a little different recipe than your regular beef jerky recipe. A little different method of making it. Maybe it's a little different piece than you're used to seeing. And if you really don't love the fat, you can just trim it out. Cut those chunks out. But I hope you liked it. If you do, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And we're gonna make different meat tips, videos, smoking, sausage, all that stuff. Thanks again for watching guys, take care. And to end this video, finally, uh, I started this video out showing you a whole pork loin. And this is how much jerky we get off of it total. So you can buy pork, I can't remember what I paid for that pork loin. It's probably at the start of the video, 20, 30, no more than $40. We wound up with all this jerky, three different flavors, done three different ways. Some of you guys might, if you haven't seen this, this is pineapple pork, candy pork bites, and Memphis pork bites. Some of you guys might not like the fat in the pineapple pork I did, that's relevant. What is relevant is in the end, out of that pork loin, we got 2.7 kilograms worth of jerky. That's a lot of snacks, AKA six pounds of snacks for you and your family and friends. Super good food easy to make and you're making it way cheaper when you're making it home. Save a couple bucks. There's nothing wrong with saving a couple bucks. That's right. Enjoy. Thanks. Take care. Subscribe.